I don't know about you, but I'm looking at a very pretty little rocker. Let's watch it happen. I'll tap a dowel in this leg here. Just enough to get the chair to stand level. Okay, that's not too bad. This horrific spring tying job makes for a very good lesson in working with open-ended springs. These coils must be tied together. They can't be tied with the end loose. The springs stretch apart. You can see that in this one. It's pulled open quite a ways. Should have been secured. This one has slipped out of place and in time would have cut through the, the ties. So, Good lesson. Secure the coils. Oh my word. There's several layers of staples along with ring shank nails. certainly stubborn. I'll number these only for the sake of keeping them in their original position. It doesn't matter, but just because. Joints like this can be very problematic the dowels run completely through the leg and extend into both of the rails. This is tight. I've hit it with the dead blow hammer and it didn't budge, so this joint's going nowhere. Remove any of these dowels, it'll twist out pretty easily. Dowels that are driven all the way in tend to not come out at all, so oftentimes you break them rather than get them out. Somebody slipped in the wrong size dowel on that arm, so I'll have to drill it out and replace it. Start with an undersized bit until I can chip away that original dowel. There's a few splintered places in these rails that need to be repaired. I'll work a little glue down inside them and clamp them in place. Thank you. 
I'm going to start by stripping the arms and this top rail. These have to be glued together before I assemble the rest of the chair frame. I'll daub this on and give it a little time to work. Wipe it down and rinse it in some Dawn detergent and water. I've left the stripper well, at least 10 minutes, probably pushing 15 by now. Plenty long. I'll give this a scrub down with the steel wool. I give just as much attention to detail on the bottom side. Alright, I'll wipe some of this excess away with paper towel. Okay, I'll wash this down with some Dawn detergent, blow it dry. Eye protection is extremely important when blowing this off working with stripper in general for that matter. I'll clean these joints while the glue is still somewhat softened. All right, I need to get my glue pot ready. I'll shake in some of these flakes and add water and wait for them to swell. All right, I'm being left out about 30 minutes. I'll water it down just a little more and we'll cook it. Okay, I've let this heat for about oh, 15 minutes or so. Looks like I got plenty of water in it, but it's it's not overdone. A few flakes in there to dissolve yet, and this will be ready to work with. Required to slide right in. This rocker has been made from two separate boards. At some point in time where it's been joined together, it's split. Somebody's re-glued it, but I'm afraid that in time it might break. So I'm gonna add a dowel in there to, to reinforce it. I've got the stop set on here so I don't bore all the way through.
Well, that certainly didn't go well. I guess we'll fix it right. Actually, having that break was a good thing because better now than later. I've left some water on this and I'll use a cabinet scraper to clean the surface off. Alright, I got those surfaces cleaned up a lot better. As I said, it was a good thing it broke. I think there's a nice tight fit there. Got just a small piece that splintered away here I need to put on. in place. All right, let's see if these line up. Well, that was an off-camera struggle, but the seam pulled together pretty good. I'll buff all these pieces with a red Scotch-Brite pad. Okay, well here's where the magic begins. These aniline dyes do wonderful things. Okay, I've left this set overnight. Glue's all hardened up. Joints went together good. Well, all right, this is ready for varnish. All right, I shot five coats of urethane on the chair. Give it a light scuff with a red scotch bright pad and shoot the final coat. As I'm rubbing this down, I'm dulling the surface, but I'm avoiding a lot of contact to these sharp edges because I don't want to buff through the stain. Okay, I blew off all the dust. I've wiped the chair down with a Swiffer rag. Works really nice to clean them up. I'm using a Minwax urethane spray. These are really nice. They've got an adjustable spray tip. I use two cans at the same time. One for doing the vertical and one for horizontal spray. Really nice. Okay, I'll give this finish a couple days to fully harden and this chair is ready for upholstery.